Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, my ravens. Today I am bringing you the Decades Legacy. The end of 1914 brought us a lot of good things. The aging up of Emery and Franklin. As you can see, they did have themselves a birthday. And also, the birth of Nettie and Noelle. But additionally, we also had another addition into the family, and that addition came in the form of two more babies. That's right. Merida gave birth to Finnegan and Daisy. Unfortunately, with all of the good things that the end of 1914 did bring the family, the shop wasn't able to bring in enough money to help pay the mortgage, and our family did end up in the newspaper, and it was such a scandal knowing that the O'Hara's weren't able to pay their taxes. And so, once again, our family went to the shop and tried to make some money. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. So as you can see, we are here at the shop and everyone, for whatever reason, has decided that they wanted to hang out in the bathroom today. It is the strangest thing, but everyone, for whatever reason, is in the bathroom. <clears throat> they don't leave the bathroom. <laughs> but it's 1915, we are in the shop. We are going to try to make some sales, but for whatever reason, they won't leave the bathroom. Even when they try to talk to the customers and greet the customers, instead of leaving the washroom and going out into the storefront or onto the floor to talk to them, everyone just goes into the bathroom to speak with them, which is the strangest thing I've ever seen in all of my days. And I have no idea what these weird clouds are on everybody's head, but it seems that the entire town is affected by whatever's going on. So it almost makes me concerned um, that it's contagious <laughs> and possibly that it's something that our... F what is wrong with her? Is she pregnant again? She's pregnant again. Oh my God. Oh my God, she literally just had Nettie and Noel. If you can see, it's 1915. So Nettie and Noel are a year old and she's pregnant again. So they have aged up to toddlers in this episode. Um. So they are a year old, and now she's pregnant again. So, guys, we're expecting again. You know what that means. More twins. Oh, my God. How many sets of twins can one girl have? I don't know. I don't know. I really just don't know. All right, so we're going to make a sale here, and... I am hoping that today's successful because we really, really yeah, need yeah. to make pretty good money. Um, like I said, the family did get put in the paper for not being able to pay their taxes. Um, we really need to pay our taxes. Currently, we are sitting at $7,877. We need to get 9800 to pay our taxes. So as long as we can get that much money to pay our taxes, we should be okay. So, I'm excited about that because it looks like we're closed. A couple of paintings should do the trick to where we can actually pay our taxes. So, we are already almost to that mark because that painting was worth quite a bit. Um, so, we just probably need one more sale and then we can probably pay our property taxes and then we will not lose our house, which is great news for everyone involved. Agnes Crimplebottom is here. She's just inspecting all of the art. I don't know that she's actually going to buy anything, but we'll go and we'll 
you know, speak with her and see if we can answer any questions and just see if there's anything that she needs to know, you know. I don't know why all these people are showing up like half naked and with clouds on their heads and see everyone's in the bathroom what are they doing and now Matilda's calling or well a telegram or whatever you want to pretend it is <laughs> Well, finally, Frederick at least left the washroom, so, you know, at least he's using his head. He's like, hi, do you want to buy some paintings? Do I know the artist? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. I am the artist. Oh, you like that, do you? Yeah. That is a lovely painting of a waterfall in a forest. I do highly recommend. Why, yes, I could absolutely paint another one just like it, if you so desired. <clears throat> Matilda has spread some juicy gossip. Well, okay. Come on, we just need one more sale. One more. Just one. So I am just trying to get them to greet the customers and hopefully by doing so we'll get those blue bars going up. But I find sometimes when you just leave them alone they do better <laughs> than when you hassle them. But um, today it just seems like nobody is really in the mood to buy anything. And it's probably because that guy Josiah there, he's a socializer. He's distracting everyone. And that's what I'm talking about. Those uh, socializers... They come here and they don't really do anything other than hinder the sales. So really what we need to do is just have him leave, but... So Cora's trying to go ahead and close this deal, but I don't think she's going to be very successful at doing so. Especially with him just standing there in the way. She's just going to answer some questions. She's like, well, how about we just talk some more about it then? You don't have to purchase it right now. Let me answer some questions. What's your budget look like? I really just want you to buy something, anything. It can be something small. We're not picky. We just need anyone, someone, to buy something. Why are you in this store naked? Frederick, why don't you get rid of some of these people that aren't customers, that are just in here causing havoc. <clears throat> no, Annabelle, honey, we can't come over right now. We're trying to make money. Sorry. See, you, you need to leave. You're just, what are you doing? Scaring the customers, that's all you're doing. Yes. 
And Cora here, she's trying really, really, really hard to make a sale. She's like, I do not want to be the talk of the town in this negative way. I want to pay our taxes. I want to make sure everything's on the up and up. And I cannot afford for us to be losing our house and me having six kids living on the street. What the hell, Frederick? You told me everything was going to be okay. This was the perfect timing. Look at this situation we're in. He's probably thinking to himself, what happened to the optimistic woman that I married? And she's like, I'm pregnant again. <laughs> we're in the paper. It's hard to be optimistic. Oh shoot, she's yelling at the kid now. Please don't yell at the kid. It's not the kid's fault. It's really not. Frederick, just ask that man to leave. And that naked woman standing behind you. Ask her to leave too. Hobie Ray soars it. Sarflo's on it. On a shore. Just tell him to go. Just be like, please get out of my store. There is nothing here for you. Please leave. Sacquenario of Yazil. Nice to leave. There you go. You need to go. Oh, he asked her to leave, not him to leave. Wrong person, Frederick. What a what a steal! What a what a choice! All right, we're gonna sell something to this child here. Cora's like, hold on, Miss Cumberbottom. I'm gonna bring this child up here. Just give me just a moment. As soon as she left, though, now he's buying something. So maybe getting rid of her was the perfect thing. So now we've got two sales going on. John Joe Zanessa, Bahira, Bimbus, I'm a bitch, Nuru Kanabu, Jessanak Ivanabu. Agnes is making friends with Cora. Who knew? I didn't think Agnes liked anyone. We just made 2,576 simoleons. That's amazing. Go on and get out of here, you guys. We can get rid of these loiters here, and we're just going to deal with our customers and, and greet them and make them feel welcome. Maybe we can get a couple more sales. And the loiters are really mad that we're making them leave, but we have nothing for you here. Please go. He's like, good evening. And evening, exactly. It's freaking late. We better close the store, actually. It's 10 o'clock. All the kids are at daycare. Oh, 
I don't think we're actually going to do any more sales for the evening. Everyone's showing up naked and it is late. So I'm going to go ahead and close the store up and we're going to head on home because we do have some children at the house or well, they're at daycare, but um, it's getting really late. So we need to head on home. Okay, so I am just having Frederick go and check us out here. Close the store and it looks like we made quite a bit of profit, 2852 so we will move that over to our household funds so that we can pay our lovely mortgage, or well, our taxes. What's he so embarrassed about? I have no idea. And then the rest of the stuff I'm just going to sell because it'll give us some extra money. <laughs> like the things that I know aren't going to sell and I'll just leave the paintings because the paintings is what is selling currently. The furniture is not selling. So the furniture we will sell and the paintings we will leave and that'll give us some extra funds. Perfect. And then I'm going to transfer over small and we're going to pay up our taxes once we get to the house I should be able to pay that with our SMB uh, app I actually should be able to do it from here deposit so we'll deposit all the money that way we can go ahead and pay the bills Perfect. So the money has been deposited into the account so that when we get home, we can go pay the bills or we we'll, should just be able to pay it from here. We don't have service at home, so let me see if I can just pay it from here. Pay bills. Okay, let's just take them home and see if I can pay it that way. Look how tired she is. She's like, oh my god, it's midnight, I'm pregnant. Okay, so we have arrived at the house here. I, oh. Oh yeah, God. well, <laughs> Cora, that's what happens when you keep getting yourself knocked up, hon. Go ahead and see if you can go pay the bills. Actually, I don't think you're going to be able to because you don't have the money. He does. So it's fine. I don't think she's going to be able to. And she's starving. Well, hell. We'll see if we can get the bills paid. You don't have enough money. Current balance in the bank, zero. What do you mean? I just put money in the bank. Wait a minute. 
I literally just put money in the bank. Oh no. Okay, we still can't pay our property taxes because every bit of the money that I just put in the bank went to the loan. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> oh no. Okay, Frederick, what are we gonna do? You can't pay your taxes still. Cora's gonna kill you. We're going to lose the house. Okay, so Frederick's freaking out just a little bit because he knows he's put all this money in the bank, but the money's gone. He can't pay the taxes and they have zero money. They have no money. They have 1,877, but they have 9,800 simoleons worth that is due. All the money went to the credit loan that he owed and they still owe a lot left on that. Um, and they only have five days left to pay that back as well. So he is freaking out because not only do they need to come up with the remainder of that, but they also need to pay the taxes. So Frederick has taken his wife home, but he is heading back to the shop. Or actually, he's heading to the bank. He wants to see what his options are. I was wrong. He has decided to come back to the shop. So, he has decided to come back to the shop and he's going to go through and see how much money he can get by selling his paintings individually. So, he's going to go through and he's going to sell all of his paintings and see if he can get up enough money by selling his paintings individually to cover what they need to pay the taxes. And he's not telling Cora what's going on because he doesn't want her to worry. And to be completely honest, its I don't think it's going to be enough because he doesn't have enough paintings left in the shop um, for it to cover the taxes. I just don't think it's gonna be enough. I mean, he's painted several paintings, but I just don't think it's been enough. Or I don't think it's going to be enough. We're at 3,782. Four thousand five hundred and sixty-eight. Six thousand seven hundred and sixty-five. We're close. Nine thousand five hundred and seven. Oh, we're so close. Look at him look around like, what else can I sell? What else can I sell? But then he knows as soon as he puts it in the bank, it's gone, right? And that's when it hits him. I have to sell the store. If I put this money into the bank, I have to sell the store. So, Frederick is selling the store. He knows that he can't afford it and he's gonna get 33,777 simoleons for the store and once he sells the store he'll be able to pay back his loan and once he does that he should be able to from there go ahead and pay
pay the taxes on the house. But he's had to let his dream go in order to save his family's home. And as a man, I think he probably feels part of this is a, a bit of a failure. I'm sure it is a bit of an attack on his pride, but more than that, he has a lot of children at home that depend on him, a wife that he loves dearly that he doesn't want to let down. And so Frederick is now off to go to the bank because he knows that he can't come home without letting his wife know that he has fixed this situation because he made this decision all on his own and he didn't talk with her about it and it put their name in the paper and drug their name through the mud because of a decision that he made all on his own because of a dream that he had for his family and even though his intentions were good and even though what he wanted was great for this family it was poor timing and unfortunately Cora was right in understanding that it was poor timing and he couldn't see the bigger picture of that because of his dream so yeah he definitely needs to pay the taxes on the house and then he needs to go ahead and he needs to make sure he can pay off that full loan so we do currently have 45,161 simoleons. Once he pays the taxes and um, deposits all of the money into the account, he should be able to pay off the full amount of the loan as well as the taxes and they'll still have some money left over um, to live off of. And he'll be able to let his wife know that she can rest easy knowing they are not going to lose the house, but also um, okay, so the taxes have been paid and now we just need to pay off that loan because there are only a few more days left to pay it. Um, and then he can let her know that everything will be okay and there's nothing that she needs to worry about. But 1915, unfortunately, had negative effects on this family in the sense that they went through a financial hardship and basically lost almost everything that they owned. <laughs> they lost their company. They lost their, well, they lost their business. They almost lost their residence. Um, and before it's all said and done, they are going to be down to very little money. And um, they're going to have very little they're going to have very little funds because they have a house that is worth a lot. The taxes that come through are worth a lot and they aren't going to have a shop now to sell things out of. So he's going to have to sell things out of his home now and um, make the money that way in order for them to be able to pay their taxes on their house um, that come to do <coughs> because they don't have the business any longer because 1915 took the business away from them. So, that all being said, I think I am going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are notified when new episodes go live on the channel. And I am going to go ahead and fly for now. I'll see you guys in the next Decades Legacy Challenge video. Bye, y'all.